Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whichever part of the world we're from, you are viewing this video. I welcome you back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to take you through the steps on how to link your OpenX long testnet to MetaMask. The OpenX long testnet was launched a couple of days ago, about six days ago, and this is their uh, X handle uh, with this uh, tweet, as you can see on the screen. And it, it says, excited to unveil the future of digital asset trading with the launch of OpenX Long Test Net. Okay, just the same way we did it in the case of Core at about this, this time last year, so also the OpenX have launched uh, VS. And in this video, I'm going to take you through the processes uh, to enable you link your OpenX Long Test Net to your MetaMask so as to prepare you for um, the transaction, the OpenNet transactions. So, in order to dive into this process, now we shall go to our MetaMask. Now, this is my MetaMask wallet. Okay. Then, um, I would like to, before I proceed, I would like to, I would like to suggest if you have your core, your main uh, core wallet in your MetaMask, please do not make use of it. Try to create a new wallet. Okay. For this test net, do not use your main core wallet place okay now if um if you want to create a new wallet that is to 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 in order to start this process what you need to do is you simply you click on this button right here when you click here you see here i have several wallets then what you'll be doing next is you are going to sorry you are going to click on this button add uh account or hardware wallet so once you click on it a new wallet will be added to your MetaMask and then you can now use it. So I'm not going to add a new wallet because already I have created my own wallet for this purpose following the process which I just uh, show you and this is my wallet. Okay. So right now what we need to do now is I am going to go to the browser that is the, the apps of this uh, app. Sorry. This is the button right here. Okay. Sorry. I mean this one. When you click on it, you give it some seconds to load up. We'll be creating a new tab and I think it's loading up. So this is the new tab. Then you type on, you tap on this uh, URL on the search uh, bar. Then you paste, um, you paste this link. I'm going to drop this link in the description below. Okay, now this is the Explorer link. This is the Explorer link for OpenX uh, long testnet. Okay, so once you paste it, you click on the enter button to search. Now, once you search, a page like this will load up. So what you need to do is you scroll through, you scroll through until the last end of the page where you have add OpenX long testnet. Okay, so what I'll do now is I'm going to click on this. So once I click on it, you discover that I, I have a pop-up message which says error okay do not worry all right do not worry what we need to do now is we are going to get the faucet link all right the faucet link so i'm also going to drop the link in the description below so that uh while doing yours you make use of those uh, links okay so let me go to my notes and get the faucet link i think i have it here so simply i'm going to copy it once i copy it i'll go back to my metamask then i'm going to create another tab and in creating another tab what i will need to do is i will simply click on this button once i click on it i'll select new tab okay then i am going to paste this uh, the address which i just copied that is the faucet url all right then i'm going to search now this will appear okay now the first thing i'll be doing here is now when this page loads up what we need to do is we need to click on the add core mainnet the button of add core uh, mainnet but um, as you can see it is covered okay this has covered it already the add core mainnet button is somewhere around this uh, place now the essence for us to click on that add core mainnet is to um, create a core uh, to add core network to our MetaMask. But already I have added mine and that is why it's showing in this uh, format. Okay. Now, when I click on this, you discover that already I am 
uh, on core sorry um, on core network all right now this is it as you can see it here this is core let me highlight it okay as you can see this is core all right so what it should what it means is that i am already connected to core uh mainnet okay guys now what i'll be doing next is i'm going to click on this add long test net all right as you can see it here then once i click on it i give it some seconds it loads up then i'll click on confirm okay so i'm going to switch network now i'm going to click on got it all right so right now i am i have been uh connected okay now if i go back to wallet now this is my wallet okay when i click on this to go back you discover that i have changed this from core network to open openx long test net okay so what it means is that i have added openx long test net uh I've added up the, the, the network already. And that is why we have this USDT. Now, this USDT, please take note of this. This USDT is just for test net. It has no value. Okay? It has no value. So, right now, the next thing we'll be going to... Uh, the next thing we are going to do is we'll go back to our browser, which is the DApps. Okay? Then, when we go to the DApps, there is a link in the description, which I'm going to copy. Let me go to my notes. All right? I'm going to drop it in the description so that... Uh, once if you are doing yours you copy the link you make use of the link then you uh, follow the processes so i'm going to copy the swap link and this swap link once i've copied it just as you've seen i'm going to create a new tab then once i create a new tab i'm going to paste the link at the url box then i'm going to click on enter to search then you give it some seconds to load up now guys this is it the page has loaded up okay so what we need to do here now is we are going to connect our wallet all right is either we click on this or we click on this so right now i'm going to click on connect wallet then i'm going to select metamask then i'm going to click on connect the essence of this is for us to connect our metamask to the open uh, x long test net now i want us to take note of this let us go back to this wallet you discover that it is only USDT that have been added. Okay, now what I mean is this. It is only USDT that we've added. Now, we need the OEX to be shown here as well. Okay, now in order to do this, what we need to do is we'll go back to uh, the site that we just left. Then, this is it. We're going to click on this MetaMask icon here. All right, so I'm going to click on it right now. Once I click on it, it says add suggested token it's loading up now this is the oex that i want to add then what i'll need to do now is i'm going to click on add token so i'll click on it it says imported token successfully imported token okay to check to know whether we have uh, added the oex successfully i'm going to go back to the wallet section then once i do that you see that the oex has appeared Okay, guys, so this is how to add um, OpenX Long Testnet. This is how to add it, the, how to add the Testnet token to your Meta Mask. Then, another thing we are going to do is we need to get uh, some values of this OEX. We need to get OEX. We also need to get USDT that will enable us to do the transaction. So, in order to get the Testnet OEX, we need to go back to our browser. Then, we um, will now go back to the faucet link, okay, which is the AGIX link. And this is that this is the link, okay, sorry, this is the page. We, op we opened it some uh, minutes ago. I'm also going to drop the link in the description. Is the faucet which I said earlier. That is the faucet link which I said earlier. Then you see something like this. This is how the page uh, will appear, all right? Now I'm going to click on Connect Web3 uh, Wallet. This is it. So you click on it connect to web3 wallet then i'll click on switch network okay then it says call now active so what we are going to do now is we are going to claim usdt so this is the first uh, the first button here which we are going to be clicking right now to get our testnet usdt and by doing that i'll just simply click on it then um, i'll give you some seconds to to load up now this is it okay this is the page now, I want you guys to pay attention to this. Pay attention to this. Now, in this uh, process, 
So I'm going to click on the Connect Web3 Wallet right now. Then I'm going to switch the network. All right. So here I'm going to click again on the Claim Testnet USDT. Okay. Then once I click on it, I'll hold on. Then this page will appear. Now I want you to pay attention to this. Before you proceed, you'll be needing some quantities of core. All right. So here, as you can see, the total, the estimated uh, gas fee is around. Uh, 0 0.0067 core so we need to have up to this amount of core in our wallet okay guys so make sure that before you start this process that you have at least one core in your wallet or 0 0.5 core in your wallet in order to succeed in this process okay so i already have core in my wallet so i'm going to click on the confirm button right now okay it's coming up it says transaction have been uh, submitted. It says your token claim was successfully submitted. Please wait about 10 blocks for confirmation. So right now I'm going to close it. All right. So I'll click on the close button and I'll go back to my wallet to see if the testnet USDT has appeared. Okay. It's still okay. It's still on a core network. So what I'll do is I'm going to change the network and i am going to click on openx long test net this is it this is the network so i'm going to change the network and okay as you can see here i already have okay it's still zero zero okay it's still zero zero maybe it's still processing you have to give it up to some seconds so that usdt will be uh, deposited now as you can see as you can see, it has been deposited into my wallet. All right. So right now I have 10 USDT. So what we're going to do next is to get OEX. So we're going to swap our uh, USDT to OEX. Okay. Now, in that case, we'll be going back to the swap link. Okay. We visited that before. And I think that is the last one where we have long.swap.openx.net. I hope you can see it. Now, this is it. Okay, so I'm going to tap on this uh, on this tab, and here we have the OEX, and we also have uh, the USDT. Okay, so right now we I want to change um, I want to exchange my USDT for OEX. So here I have a balance of ten. What I will do right now is I may want to exchange fifty percent of the USDT that has been given to me. Okay, so I will just tap on fifty percent. Okay, then if I tap on 50%, that means I'm going to get um, 2.83 uh, OEX. Okay, so this is it. So what it means here, by what, what by this, it means that one OEX is equal to 1.7624 USDT. Now I can decide to use all by clicking on the max button. Okay, okay, let me just click on 75% so that it will give me 4.2. USDT. So I'm going to click on uh, on the swap here. So once I click on swap, I'll click on confirm swap. Okay, it says price updated. So I'm going to click on accept. I will accept it. Then I will click on the confirm button. The price keeps on updating. Okay, wait for confirmation. As you can see here, I am swapping USDT to uh, OpenX. So I'm going to click on confirm. Right. I'm going to click on confirm and it says transaction have been submitted okay now if we have not added our OEX to our wallet we will just simply click on this to add it but since we've already added it there is no need so i'll just click on the close button right now then i'll go back to my wallet it says the transaction have been completed so i'll go back to my wallet and when i go back to my wallet you discover that i have exchanged my usdt to oex and it gave me 4.25 221 OEX. So guys, this is how to connect your meta your OpenX long test net to your MetaMask. Okay, this is the automatic process if I should use that word. Then there is another method, there is another way for you to add your uh, OEX to your MetaMask. All right? So, in order to do that, first of all, I'll need to delete this uh, open of our I will have to delete this. That is this OpenX long test net. And by doing that, I'll click on the settings button. This is the settings button. Once I click on it, 
it will take me to the settings okay then i'm going to click on the networks now i'm going to select open x okay we are done with the process i'm just trying to teach you the second uh method the second way of adding open x long test nets to your meta uh, mask so i'm going to select this network and i'm going to click on delete i'm going to delete it so i have deleted this network now in order to add this network manually which is the second uh step or the second method for adding openx long test net to metamask what you need to do is um i'm going to click on this button the settings button again now when i click the set the settings button i am going to click on the networks okay then i'm going to click on add network this is add network i'll click on it then i am going to click on this custom network this is the custom network here i'm going to impute and fill up these uh spaces here these boxes i'm going to fill them up i'm also going to drop it in the description okay the network name the rpc url the chain id the symbol and the block explorer url so i'll go and get the network name right now so the network name is uh openx testnet so i'm going i'm just going to paste it here then i'm going to go to my notebook and get the rpc url okay then um i'm going back right now to my notebook i have the rpc url so i'll just copy it then i'll go back to my metamask and paste it there okay then the chain id i have the chain id to be seven seven eight sorry seven seven nine eight so i'm going to paste it here as well then the symbol okay you take your time and do this the symbol is oex so i'm going to copy it then i'll go back to my metamask and paste it as well then the block explorer url here i'm going to copy it the block explorer url then go back and paste it so i am done so i'm going to click on the add uh, button this is the add button i'm going to click on it and give it some seconds to load up so it says open testnet now active so allow it to load so guys as you can see the oex is back the one which i just deleted so this last method is just the second way of adding or linking your open x long testnet to your meta mask that is the manual method okay guys so in all these processes if you have any question at all if there is any stage where you are confused please do well to drop your question at the comment uh section like i said earlier all the links that i've used are uh, from the um the explorer link the faucet link that is the agix link and the swap link i'm going to drop it in the description and these tokens details as well in case if you want to do the manual method of adding oex to your metamask i'm going to drop the description the token description in the link uh, below i'm also going to drop my whatsapp link in the description below so that if you want to join my whatsapp group to get daily updates on uh recent mining you do well to click on the link in the description then you join my whatsapp group there are also other crypto projects which i'm going to add their links in the description so you check through if there is anyone you've not started mining you click on the link to register okay so before i leave if you have any question please do well to drop your question leave your comments at the comment section if you have any if there is any video you want me to create and drop in this channel please do well to uh, drop the title of the video in the description uh in the comment section and i will create that video so guys if this is your first time of visiting my youtube channel if you find this video educative if you find it interesting if you enjoyed it please do well to subscribe to my youtube channel give a thumbs up to this video please feel free to share this video share it to your communities those who may want to partake in this process share this video to them and guys i hope to see you in my next video thank you for being with me until the end of this video bye